But the cult part was justified, in my opinion. It was everything else that was a step too far. And uh, before we move any further, because I do have more thoughts on all of this, um, let's go ahead and listen to a clip from Nick Hausman. He was on the same podcast with Wade Keller, the Wade Keller uh, Pro Wrestling Podcast. Not to be confused with the Pro Wrestling Podcast podcast. This is the Wade Keller Pro Wrestling Podcast, where he had Nick Hausman on to take calls from fans and stuff like that, but to ask him flat out, and this was talked about, what are his thoughts on the whole Colt Cabana thing and how he was kind of singled out at the media scrum. Check out this clip. Um, uh, Nick, you were part of this story. You bring a really uh, uh, unique perspective, a first-person perspective. Uh, talk about that. You're at the all-out Q&A. Talk, talk about your thought when he interrupted you and, and run down a little bit of what happened there. He starts this thing by saying he wants to start the scrum. He asks everybody who in this room considers themselves a journalist. I, like everyone else, raise my hand, and I'm kind of confused at this point. I don't really know exactly where Punk's going. Then he gives this you know, little speech about how he doesn't like how members of the press uh, don't, acknowledge, or don't uh, let people know who they're friends with because I guess he thinks it influences stories. Um, and as he's doing this, he's ripping off bloody wrist tape and he's throwing it on the ground very dramatically. And it's very intense. Uh, then he then he then he kind of zeroes in on me and he goes, Nick, how long has it been since you did improv? Which was the last thing I expected him to say. Um, and, and he said it like he said it in the tone of a gotcha question. Yeah, yeah. To- yeah. I could tell he was starting to kind of go somewhere. I was like, it's been a couple of years ago, you know, because I really haven't done improv and. Maybe eight years. I did StarCast Improv once. Thank you, Conrad. Let's bring it back. Um, but it had been a while. I was like, it's been a couple of years. Then he goes, and Nick, when you did improv, who'd you do improv with? And uh, that's when I said Scott Colton. I wanted to call him by his legal name because I felt like everything was about to get real, real. And, and uh, Scott Colton is, of course, Colt Cabana's legal name. And that's when uh, I feel like he was going to try to get me, Wade. Right? He goes, and so are you? would you say you're friends with Colt Cabana, and I was like, no, 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 Colt, Scott and I have not seen eye to eye in many years, and that's true, you know, it's just a fact, you know, we haven't, and that's when Punk, and I, I don't want to curse on your blog talk, but he said, you know, F, you blew my spot, mm-hmm. and kind of, I think he kind of, <laughs> and at that, and see, like, at that point, like, I, I was kind of having this surreal moment, because I didn't know where Punk was going, we all saw where he went. But for me personally, it was just like, wow, my improv career just became the centerpiece of whatever is going on here in this scrum right now. You blew my spot, Nick. Of course he did. Of course he did, because he's not friends with Colt. <clears throat> and that's Punk was hoping that he was friends with Colt so that he could say that the whole media thing was biased. You know, it's good to hear that Nick's not like, uh, not traumatized by that whole thing because if i was anybody in the media dude and and they were too there was one guy that said look i've interviewed you know political leaders or whatever and and i've never been more uh nervous to ask a question than i am right now or or the poor kids in the crowd there was aj awesome was there and and izzy and cm punk's just fucking going off F bombs everywhere. Not that those kids ever never heard the F word, but like they were probably traumatized by that shit. Izzy and Punk was like, Izzy, I'm sorry. I'm s i am like you. I'm sorry if I'm being scary right now. Um, but yeah, he was, man. He was nasty. But the Colt Cabana thing, perfectly justified in my opinion, other than going a step too far, getting into the personal personal. But but Fuck, man, Punk deserves a platform to to rebut, right? If the internet's going on for months now saying that Punk got Colt fired or almost got him fired or got him moved to ROH, and that's not the case, Punk deserves an outlet to give his two cents on that whole thing and to rebut it and call you guys all a bunch of fucks who don't know what you're talking about. It's not true. You need to check your sources better, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> All of that was justified. He crossed the line when he got to the mom. And then uh, certainly when he started crossing over into burying AEW and shutting down Tony Khan 
uh, you know, Tony Khan tried to speak up and be like, you know, I should have addressed this with Nick because he was asked. Nick asked Tony Khan about Colt Cabana before, too. And uh, Tony Khan just kind of, I, th- I believe he no commented on it so that it just continued to fester and more questions continued and theories and speculation floating around out there that led to Punk being even more pissed off. And, uh, you know, he crossed the line when he did that to Tony Khan because he completely emasculated Tony Khan. He completely took his balls away. Um, A lot of people making fun of Tony Khan. And I guess rightfully so. I I mean, I feel bad for the guy because what what were you to do in that situation? Is he going to stand up and flex and be like, stop it, punk. That's enough. You need to cut it out. Uh, he's not going to do that. Punk's going to fucking bitch slap him or chew his ass and call him a mark or something. You know what I mean? Like, Punk was on one right there. There was no stopping that guy other than to just get up, go to the sound guy and tell him to cut the mic and, you know, shut the lights off, media over. But Punk would have continued to scream and yell and, and make a big scene. He would have gotten more angry than he was. You almost had to kind of let him get it out of his system and just hope he didn't go too far. Uh, but he did. He went way too far. Plus, Tony Khan nodding. I think it was like more of a just a nervous thing. But that made him look really bad. Because he was seemingly agreeing with Punk on everything. Which is not a good look. Especially for the EVPs. You know, rumor is that they even threatened to leave at one point. It's just all a big mess. And I think overall it may be worth just just getting rid of Punk. Um, I hate to say it, and like, where does he go? What does he do? What does that do to his image, his reputation, his ability to do the other things that he was doing before he went back to wrestling, like writing comics, being in movies? I saw some weird, like, cheesy horror movie he was on on Netflix where he was, there was like this creepy haunted house or something, and Punk was like a killer, I think, or something. You know, the house made him kill somebody. I don't remember exactly, but. There was something like that with CM Punk on Netflix. And then, of course, uh, he was in uh, the show Heels. And I believe he has already filmed his part for season two of Heels. So he'll be a bigger part of that. And how's that going to affect you? Are they going to want to continue to work with a guy like Punk? Maybe all this will blow over. Who knows? Um, But but it it certainly remains to be seen how all this will play out. I think a lot of that's going to have to do with what happens with that um the third party investigation of the whole situation and what their findings are because if they find a clear fault in somebody then that person should probably go i don't know um of course, the fighting part of it, not so much a big deal to me. I'll, I'll touch on that a little bit later because there's more to get into with the fight. Um, but yeah, overall, it's just a fucked up situation and a giant black mark on AEW and really on professional wrestling. Like, this was bad. It was really bad. Punk was ugly. This wasn't just a rant. This was vile. This was venom. This wasn't just a pipe bomb. This was a nuclear bomb. This wiped out everything in its path, and this might not be something that they can come back from. Hey, thanks for checking out that clip. Don't forget to check out other clips here on the channel. And while you're there, throw a like, throw a subscribe, and don't forget to check out full episodes each and every Sunday of the Pro Wrestling Podcast Podcast.